18, 18 years old, I was living in Twin Falls and uh, kept up a good job, but I was still using every day like it was a cup of coffee. I'd get my fix in the morning, fix in the afternoon, and fix for dinner, and still go to sleep. Interesting. Um, I met Heidi when I was 23-ish at a bar. I'd met her before, excuse me, I, I met her before at, um, she was dating my friend and then we never really clicked because she was dating my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I was still heavily in, of course, into the drugs, and she was using too, but that's her story. Um, we never really got together until I was like about 23, and I walked into the bar, and we started having some drinks together, and uh, playing some pool, and um, we ended up together at um, an after party where there was drugs, and the rest is history, as they so say, I, I, you know, I was with her from then on. We'll talk more about and that we'll, in a minute. Yeah, we're going to join kind of our stories somewhere in the middle. Um, I don't have a whole lot of memory from young on. About eight, I remember living back in Montana with my mom and dad. But then they divorced. Um, when I was about 12 and my mom immediately turned to um, drugs and men. My dad was gone. Um, he'd show up once, maybe twice a year, just pop up out of the blue and never knew where he was or where he was living or anything. Um, when I was 15, due to my mom's role modeling, and I, I want to say this really quick, that I'm not by any, any means blaming my mom for where I'm at, but I was a product of her dysfunction and her pain as well. But because of the role modeling that she had given, I became promiscuous at the age of 15. Um, did a little bit of drugs, but that really wasn't my thing. It was more of taking care of people, because when my mom and dad divorced, then I had to take care of my siblings. Um, left the house, moved, um, moved to Idaho from California, um, had an abortion when I was 17, had another one when I was 18, then I got married, had Eric, um, his dad and I didn't, didn't make it, we were together for eight years, I ended up having another abortion after Eric. Um, just thinking there was no way out, you know, um, his dad was an alcoholic and there I was in my codependent trying to fix it, take care of it, um, and it just wasn't working. I just kept getting myself deeper and deeper into stuff. Um, divorced Eric's dad and not too long after that I got pregnant with Paige. Um, and the relationship with her dad, he's actually Jeremy's brother. Um, he and I had a little relationship and had our little daughter. Um, and then it didn't work out there. Paige was like two months old, got together with Brock's dad. We married, had Brock, got divorced two years later. Um, then here we are with uh, Jer. Um, I just got divorced from Brock's dad in August of oh, 2000. 